Bonjour everyone, this is Isaac here, and welcome back to Isaac Reviews 2023. Sir Ridley Scott is without a doubt one of the most high-profile directors out there at the moment. He's made some of the most well-known films of the late 20th century, and is still going strong to this day at a staggering 86 years of age. And it's no wonder why he's so notable with how consistently great his filmography is. This brings us to his latest film, Napoleon. Now, Napoleon Bonaparte is certainly a fascinating figure in history. He became the self-proclaimed Emperor of France in the early 1800s and was also a strategic general during his rule, winning several battles and conquering a sizable amount of Europe. So a movie adaptation about him from Ridley Scott that starred Oscar winner Joaquin Phoenix in the title role certainly had me hooked. That, and it was getting a wide theatrical release from Apple TV+, Plus, similar to last month's Killers of the Flower Moon, another film from an extremely high-profile director. And after seeing it with my grandpa over Thanksgiving break, it was pretty disappointing. Like, definitely not bad by any means, just not as good as I thought it would be. Of course, it's about Napoleon Bonaparte's rise to power in France, as well as his complex and extremely horny relationship with his infertile wife, Josephine. So the blueprints were there for a good historical epic, and there were certainly aspects of Napoleon that are worth highlighting, especially regarding its presentation. This movie's production values are absolutely top-notch. The sets and costumes do a phenomenal job capturing the look of early 19th century Europe, and the battle scenes are a sight to behold. They're well shot, well paced, unabashedly brutal, and insightful regarding the tactics used back in the era and how the military technology was much more primitive than what we have today. I also gotta give props to the lead actors, Joaquin Phoenix and Vanessa Kirby, whom we spend a good majority of the movie with. They both did an excellent job in their respective roles, and they really sold the relationship between Napoleon and Josephine, which becomes more complicated as the movie progresses. Sadly, as far as biographical films are concerned, this one definitely had room for improvement. For one, there are a fair amount of historical inaccuracies, like Napoleon attending the execution of Marie Antoinette and taking pot shots at the pyramids in Giza, and I get it. Even if you're making something based on true events, you may have to take some artistic license. But the dramatizations here feel a bit absurd upon doing some reading, and things are certainly not made any better by Ridley Scott acting like a pretentious asswipe upon criticism. Also, with the exception of the battle scenes, this movie's pacing can feel really tedious. Again, I get why most biopics are over two and a half hours long if the person they're based on had a really complicated life, but the runtime here feels really bloated for the most part, with hardly any sense of direction or interesting dialogue. Overall, Napoleon is an okay movie, if not a massive letdown. The lead actors do a great job, the production design and costume design are amazing, and the battle sequences are exciting, but the pacing feels bloated and the historical inaccuracies are a bit distracting. I'd say it's worth watching at least once if you're curious, or if you're a fan of Ridley Scott's other works, but don't set your expectations too high like I did, because then you'll just be setting yourself up for disappointment. I mean, sure, I was satisfied with it enough to give it a 7 out of 10, but I really wish it could have been the grand spectacle it was marketed as. Next time, I'll be talking about Godzilla Minus One. Believe it or not, I've seen next to no marketing for this film, and that was sort of intentional, because I'm planning to go into it completely blind so that I can be all the more surprised by the end product. And judging by what the critics are saying about it, I should be in for a great time. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Isaac Reviews 2023. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.